Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to pair a Pebble Time to an iOS device. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Now I also have this Android device here, but I'm going to show you the differences between the screens uh, when you're using an Android device. I figured I'd throw this on the side. Now, as far as the Pebble Time goes, the Pebble Time is absolutely perfect with an Android device. Uh, you can do lots more with your Android device on a Pebble Time than you can with iOS. They have it locked down. Now, if you want to go ahead and buy an Apple Watch for your iOS device, it works really great. And in the next video, I'm actually going to pair both the Apple Watch as well as the Pebble Time to the iOS device. And I'll show you how notifications work, and I'll show you some of the differences. But in this video, let's stick to pairing it to the Pebble Time to the iOS device. So here we go. Now in my last video I showed you that there are two Bluetooths that you connect to uh, right in Bluetooth settings inside the phone settings. Uh, and we paired both of them up first and then we opened the app. Now as far as iOS goes I would do the same thing but it doesn't show the low energy, the LE, that's for notifications. Uh, right here it will. you will have to do that when you go into the a Pebble Time app. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that and we got our Pebble Time here completely reset and it's going to say pair and we're going to make sure we hit the little check mark there and now we're connected. So now we can go into the um, the app itself. So let's go back to the home screen on our Android device. We'll go into the Pebble Time here and we'll go into our home screen here and we'll go into the Pebble Time. So now there's a big difference between the two apps. Now what's going to happen is they're going to tell you to update. So we'll update and while we're updating I'm going to talk to you about this Android device. So we're going to download on the device you're going to see the circle there. Now every time you unpair completely from the Pebble Time whether it's Android or iOS you have to go through this updating Pebble process which can be quite lengthy uh, but I guess it's necessary because they check for updates they do all that stuff. And it's like everything from new. Let's wait for this to update it. I'll show you the difference between the two screens and we'll connect to the LE on the iOS device. Okay, we're just about there and we're reconnecting. And you're gonna see the check mark on the pebble. It's gonna re a spring and you're gonna see the new screen there. And then we're gonna to connect to the LE. Uh, that's the low energy, that's for notifications. But it's a lot different than the Android device, which you can connect the Bluetooth in the settings of the phone itself. Okay, so the Pebble Time starts up, and it ends up in its app drawer. We'll just uh, hit the go back button here, and we're going to be met with this regular watch face. Now, look at the big difference between iOS and Android. Now Android will allow, and Google will allow a lot more things that you can do uh, with apps and everything. So here it says notification setup. So we're, that's where we're going to click to click that LE. So we'll click on that and we'll enable notifications. So that's the LE. We're going to hit pair and we're going to hit the check mark on the watch. So now we're all set. We're connected to both the regular Bluetooth and the LE. So here on the watch, uh, you basically can do pretty much the same thing when it comes to um, getting watch faces. You can get any watch face uh, and they work. Uh, the only difference between Google and, and Apple is that there are some things on watch faces, like if there's a step counter and things like that, you probably can connect it to Google Fit better. Uh, that's the service for, the, that's their uh, health kit uh, that Google uses, but you probably won't be able to connect to health kit here unless you have a third party app that reports to health kit. So uh, aside from that, when you go for apps and you look in the app store, there's a big total difference. Now we're not connected here with our Android device, but you see that there's so many more apps that you can install uh, for the Android device. and um, it's hard to explain, but when going through with my iOS device, 
there's not a lot of apps that work even if they do claim that they do work you click on them and you go into settings and it's kind of hard to configure them because Apple has a lot of lockdown uh, with Android you got so much more so let's also compare our, our uh, Pebble draw so we'll go into my Pebble and you'll see that the watch face now it's not uh, set there but you can put any watch face that you want on uh, just like you can with the uh, with, with the iOS device but the difference is is definitely the apps um, now when it comes to notifications um, this pebble time does great with iOS you'll get your messages you'll get your reminders you'll get um, your uh, phone calls missed phone calls um, with Android you there are some things that you can hit the reply to a reply with the microphone uh, when it comes to Google and Android, but it's pretty much locked down to notifications only on the iOS device. So you won't be able to reply, you won't be able to um, do anything. You, you, you can read the notifications, you can read the email notifications, you can uh, look at the SMSs, but you pretty much have to go to the phone and work there. Now, the other difference is when you're hooked to an Apple Watch, say for instance, um, with a iOS device you get all your notifications you can't yet reply to emails but you can reply to all your uh, text messages all your SMS's uh, with you can even in watch OS 2 for uh, Apple you'll be able to even reply to email but as far as connecting uh, your pebble time to an iOS device uh, there's a big difference now also in settings there's nothing for, for the uh, iOS device, but there is a lot more that you can configure and, and, and also you can have like uh, canned uh, responses and things like that. But iOS, there's nothing. But I have to tell you one thing. I'm going to return my Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is a great device, even with OS, uh, you know, OS Watch 2 coming out and a lot of more improvements with native apps running right on the watch. I still think we need uh, a completely standalone Apple device, uh, Apple Watch. I don't like that I have to be connected. And the other thing I didn't like is when your your phone is unlocked on the iOS device, you don't get the text messages and the SMSs and all the email notifications on the Apple Watch. Uh, there's no way to, to tell Apple to do that. Matter of fact, in the uh, Apple Watch app, it says if you have your phone unlocked, you don't get it. Now, I, you don't get the notifications on the watch. You can swipe down into notifications and get and see what you missed, but I want all my notifications to show up, just like it does on the Pebble Time. On the Pebble Time, when you have a notification, they all pop up. All your email notifications, all your SMS missed SMSs, all your missed calls. Everything shows up on the watch. It just pops up. The other thing about the Pebble Time is I love the timeline uh, being able to go through the timeline I know OS Watch 2 is gonna have that uh, time travel and and that's gonna be pretty cool they're doing that because they're trying to compete with this Pebble Time um, when once the OS 2 comes out we'll do another comparison and I'll show you uh, you know that's gonna be a lot better uh, but right now I, I'm on my 15th day uh, I'm gonna return this watch but if I ever want it again, I'll just go in the store and buy it. Uh, but I'm going to use my Pebble time because I love the timeline. I love all notifications show up regardless if your phone is unlocked or open. Or even if you're in notification center, it's still showing up. And that's really useful. I went to Six Flags, um, the amusement park, and I had my phone in my pocket. I didn't take it out once. I got all my emails. I saw what I missed. I got all my text messages, I, I, and it'll tell you the exact text message. You can scroll through it, and you, you don't ever have to take your phone out of your pocket unless you want to respond to an email, respond to a text message, but you'll get them all. And the timeline feature was beautiful. I, I loved going through, seeing all my calendars, all my reminders that I set on my phone uh, with Siri. I, you know, I, I told the Siri to set a reminder, and it actually... Uh, showed up on the Pebble Time. Now we're going to do another video about notifications. I'll even do a side-by-side -side with the Apple Watch. One last thing I want to show you with the app. In Android, you get 
this notification tab here. And you pretty much can configure which notifications show up on your Pebble Time. You can, you know, dismiss some of them if you don't want, uh, say, your SMSs to show up on your uh, Pebble Time. You could turn that off. Any app uh, that you don't want. So it's more finite uh, in which uh, notification shows up. Now, as far as Apple, uh, you get all the notifications. There's no way to say, hey, I want only some notifications, I, you know, but you're going to get all of them. So if you own an iPhone, it's a big difference in, in, in the experience uh, with, with the Pebble Time app. So I just want you to know that. But this is pretty much it. There's not much you can do with the Apple uh, device until a jailbreak comes out, and then we can do all those little things, even control Siri from the uh, Pebble Time, which is going to be nice. Um, and the jailbreak is coming out soon. Uh, they had a developer conference or some hack conference, and they showed a jailbreak for 8.3. And I'll be doing a video about that as well. But pretty much, this is it. This is the difference between the two. This is how you pair uh, to your Pebble Time. Um, once I start getting notifications through, you'll see, uh, and we'll do that video right now, uh, right after this video, and we'll see all the great things. So let me connect my Apple Watch and my Pebble Time, and click on the link, and you will go into the next video where I'll show how notifications work on both. This has been Dave. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.